Hey, all my favorite sysadmins, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna take you through using variables in PDQ Deploy. First of all, where do you find variables? Well, it's under options and variables. I know, I know. Well, you know, easy to find, I love that. Um, you'll notice I've got some uh, custom variables in here already. I've got an Epic Pen version variable. I've got my version, I got an OBS version in here. These can be used if you're gonna do like paths. I will show you that in a second. In a package that you want to be able to change here. Um, the other thing you can do is we're gonna do a uh, reboot message. Now you'll notice you just saw that, right? My typing is so bad and if I have to send out reboots, I wanna be able to use a uh, message that I don't have to really check that often because my typing is that bad so I just gotta type it right once. So you'll notice these other variables have at signs in front of them. I didn't have to put that in there because as soon as I go into the next field, that at with the parentheses around is gonna be added for you. So reboot message and of course, uh, you know, it's me. I'm going to send a, a kind message to my end users. I dare you to save your work. Well, surprisingly, I actually typed that right the first time. Okay, so here's my reboot message. I've saved my variable. I'm going to close that. Let us say, for example, we want to reboot a machine every time we install 7-Zip. So I'm going to open the auto download package, and I'm going to put a post step in here. Surprise, we're going to do that reboot step. Okay. And again, we can send a message. Now, normally I would copy and paste, but you know what? I found a better way. Check this out. Click custom variables. There it is. Reboot message. Love it. So now that reboot message is going to go out, you know, going to dare them to save their work after. And I didn't have to type that out again. So if I do this on many if I do a lot of different reboots, reboots on different uh, installs and that, just like I say, reference the variable there and it's gonna be so much easier. Anywho, that's variables. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.